Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Wabosha and welcome to the Slay Squad. So I think today for the first time I'm going to film and edit a video and post it on the same day. Last week I was really sick, okay not really sick, but I had a cold and every time I tried to film I sounded really really funny. It's not completely over in case I still sound a bit funny. But yeah, I felt so bad that I didn't have a video today so I woke up. To film <laughs> that's that's how much love i've got for you guys so i recently received a maybelline pr box that's what i was looking at on this side of the table and i want to do a full face of first impressions with you guys so yeah that's what we're going to do i'm going to bring you guys in closer and then we're going to get started hey where did that accent come from jesus <laughs> Okay, so I think that's close enough. I have a mirror on this side, so that's what I will be looking at. And the first product that I have for you guys is the Maybelline New York Brow Precise Brow Pencil. And this is how it looks like. Like that. It has a spoolie on one end. And on the other end, it's the like um, pencil part. So I want to, the first thing I want to check is the amount of product <laughs> that they have. So is this, let me try to make it focus. Okay, there. So as you can see, this is the amount. Okay, wow, that's actually really small. <laughs> For this huge pencil, this is the amount that you get. I think, I think maybe Lynn, we can increase this even just a bit because I'm sure this is not like the 30 bob um, Davis pencil. I'm sure it's a bit more expensive, but the amount of product is really, really tiny. God. Anyway, so my first impressions of this is that it's um, it's more on the cool toned side. I'm not sure if it will be dark enough for my eyebrows, but yeah, let's let me quickly do my brows as you guys are watching, and then we'll we'll judge that. So this is how my eyebrows look like and um, okay with the brush I really really liked the spoolie because none of my brush sets weird enough have ever come with a spoolie so I usually use this um, disposable mascara ones so it was nice to have like a real <laughs> big spoolie to use the color didn't turn out being as bad as i thought it would the only thing is that i found myself having to go around my eyebrows to clean them up a bit just so that like areas like over here where i have hardly no hair it was having trouble showing with this pencil and i usually don't really like i don't do the whole going through with concealer underneath anymore unless you know i'm trying to be really glam so i'd say that this pencil for me would work best for like an everyday sort of look but then again the amount of product that you get if you use this every single day I don't think it will last you more than one week and also as I was using it a small piece broke off and <laughs> my chest I almost cried but yes I don't think it's that bad we could increase the quantity and it will be I would buy it if you would get more product compared to what you're getting currently. The next we're going to move on to primer and the primer that I have here is the Master Prime Hydrating Primer. I'm really excited that this is a hydrating primer because my skin is almost dry. It's like combination dry. So I really, really like hydrating primers. And also I don't like looking matte, I like looking very nice and dewy and glowy. So I'm really excited about this. This also has high hyaluronic acid. I'm not sure what that does, but I will research and let you guys know. So yeah, let's put this on. Um, it just looks white like that and uh it feels like a moisturizer like just kawaii moisturizer it doesn't really have a strong smell it actually doesn't really smell like anything this smells like makeup but yeah i like it it feels really nice on my skin 
Okay, so I've just looked into the box and I have two different primers. This pink one is the Master Prime Illuminating Primer and this one was a Hydrating Primer. I still want to test this one out. So this one has Hyaluronic Acid and this other one has Micro Pearls. So I'm really excited to see the difference. Well, this one says, um, visibly illuminates for glowing skin that appears smoother. Apply alone or underneath makeup. Yes, it looks like more glow for me. This is how it looks like. And it's pink. Like it's actually... Focus. I don't know if you can see that. Or how clearly it's being picked up. But it's actually pink. Let me put the other one next to it so that you can see the difference so you can see this one is the hydrating one the white one and this one has a bit of a pink tint to it and i'm just going to put it on my hand to see oh my god you guys it's it's pink like it has um i don't know can you see that it has like some shiny shiny pink stuff this will be really awesome so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push this on like the highest points of my cheeks like where i'd naturally highlight so i'm going to go with it here and oh my god can you see that it is so pretty wow i wonder if like <laughs> after i've put on foundation if i'll still have this pink it looks like the fenty highlighter the i don't remember what it's called but the pink one that's what this primer looks like i don't know like can you guys see the pink it has like some pink iridescent look to it it's really really pretty so i'm going to put that and then i'm going to also go on my nose forehead I think you can see it more on my forehead like the pink and on my chin next up we have foundations and these are the two foundations that I received this one is in the shade 352 and this one is in 360 so already by looking at this i can tell that this is way too cool toned for me and this one has a bit too much red in it so mixing this two won't really help so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to use this foundation you guys remember the super stay foundation that i told you guys was too light for me it's in the shade 60 caramel so i know this it will just ruin the whole first impressions because they are both different formulas, so mixing them wouldn't really help. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. Um, okay, I think I'm just going to mix in just like a drop of this so that I can add some yellow. So that we can really see how it looks like. Because otherwise this will be way too red on my skin. So I'm just going to use my mixing plate and look for a match for my skin. Okay, so this is how the foundation looks like. I feel like the color match is still not spot on, but that's, you know, beyond my control for now. But then if I have to comment about the foundation itself, the Fit Me range is usually light to medium coverage, while the Superstay is usually supposed to be full coverage. But it looks like since I had more of the Fit Me, the light coverage, you know, is what is coming through. And it claims that it's supposed to give you a natural seamless finish so that that looks like what i'm getting right now my face doesn't feel cakey it doesn't look cakey either the only thing is that um this one and this one they're both matte foundations they're supposed to be very heavy duty matte foundations for oily skin but because of the primers that i've used my skin still looks so glowy that i am in love with it it looks so nice and healthy and like i drink enough water which i really don't so yeah i really like that primer
other thing that I received are the Fit Me concealers and this one really isn't a first impression. I've used these concealers before. So again, I'm going to use the number 55 and 40 underneath my eyes. But then I got a new color. So I guess this will only be the first impressions part. This one, I don't know if you can see, but it's in the number 60. That's a 60. Yeah, it's in the number 60 and I want to try and use this to contour. Okay, so this looks like um, it'll do more of bronzing <laughs> than contouring because when you're contouring, you should try and use cool toned shades. And this one looks a bit <laughs> red, but you know, we're just going to go with it. And I'm also going to use it on my nose. Then for my under eyes, I'm just going to use the same two concealers in the shade 40 and 55. So as I mentioned before, the Fit Me range of concealers and foundations is not really full coverage. It has a very light coverage as you guys can see. So if you like the cake and to have, you know, a lot of coverage with your concealers, I don't think this will be the right concealer for you guys. But then I really like it because I don't like full coverage unless, you know, it's a really, really special occasion. So I love this and especially because it's not drying under my eyes. I like it and I also really like the finish it looks really pretty I also received two powders and one is in the shade 340 and the other one is in the shade 355 this one is also really not a first impressions because I have used uh, this powder before but in a different shade in the shade 350 so I feel like they watched my video and they was like no she's complaining that it's too light they sent me other options so I feel like this um oops this shade 355 might work for my skin tone so i'm going to try and set my entire face with this so i don't really have any complaints about the powder it's just powder but the only thing that i've noticed that is different with it is that it's very fine like it's a very fine powder and that that is always a good thing so off camera i have warmed up my crease just a bit because i don't have any new eyeshadow palette to try out but the next thing that we're going to try out are this um highlighter sticks and one is in the shade 300 dark gold and the other one is medium nude so i want to swatch for you guys so this one is um dark gold and this other one is medium nude. So I can tell that um, this one looks like it will be a bit more natural on the skin. Because this other one has a lot of glitter in it and it looks like a more champagne color. But the one thing that I can tell you is that they feel so nice and smooth and they go on very like creamy. I like it it's really nice and creamy so let me try it on but I'm not sure if you'd have to go on top with like um, a powder highlight so that you can set it I'm not sure but let's try it out I'm going to use number 300 dark gold yeah that's that's really pretty I'm going to blend it out with my finger And also, I've just remembered, you're not supposed to put <laughs> cream products on top of powder products, but it looks like it's working out fine. Like, it's just blending out really nicely. Yeah, that looks like it's really nice and subtle, like an everyday sort of highlight. I'm going to use um, this stick and put it on my eye eyelids. So that's it for the eyes, really nice and simple. I'm really liking how dewy this look is becoming, but I can notice that the far, the what is it called? The concealer underneath my eyes is starting to crease. So I want to try and set that again. 
Next we have gel liner and this is how it looks like. It came in a very pretty frosted container and it also has its own brush. So on one side is this sponge tip and on the other side is an actual brush. I already tried to dip it in to check the consistency so that is why it's black at the tip but I didn't really use it. The only thing I noticed is that it's really really black so if I can swatch it for you guys. can see it's like really really nice and black now the thing is I don't put any liner on top of my eyes because I feel like it will ruin how subtle this makeup look is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it eh, <laughs> I'm just going to put it um, on my waterline So as you can see it looks really dark and it's also very very creamy there's not really much to say about it because i feel like the test will be in how long it lasts and performs throughout the day so we're just going to go ahead and move on to lipstick so the lip products that i have here is uh, the maybelline vivid hot lacquer i have used this formula before but they gave me a different shade and this is in the shade 62 charmer and i'm going to swatch it for you guys so I have so many swatches. So that is how it looks like. It's a peachy pink. That's like the best way to describe it. And also it's not matte. It's very glossy. So I'm going to go in with a lip liner first. This is the Elegal lip liner in the shade Cola. Okay, I honestly don't think this is like my most favorite lipstick combination, but it's not, it's not that bad, but it's also not anything special. So this is the finished look. It definitely ended up being a very subtle, dewy, glowy, everyday makeup look. And if I had to choose one thing to repurchase for myself, it will definitely be the highlighter, the warm gold one, and also the Fit Me concealers. I think those are my two favorite products from the first impressions. But I really like the look. I think it's very pretty and it's typically what I'd go for for an everyday look. So it's a plus for me so that is it for this week's video don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe down below for new videos every mondays and thursdays always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time bye